everyone and thank you for joining me. So this is a ginormous haul video. Um, let me say in the beginning, like a disclaimer, no, I did not purchase all of this at once, but as it turns out, I'm on hiatus from school for six weeks, so I've had a little time to do some online shopping. But yeah, so this is a haul, and then at the end, if you stick with me to the very end, because this might be a little bit of a long one, I am going to introduce you to the newest member of my family. So, let's start the haul off with some hair. So, I don't splurge on hair products much. Every now and then, um, there's a couple of dry shampoos that I think are worth the money. Sorry, my nose itched. Um, but for the most part, you know, I try to stick to drugstore. Um, unless something like really, really just catches my attention and does the job and just, I'm in love. So when I started trying the Orbe dry texturizing spray, it was just like magic. I have very thin, fine hair and I feel like this spray really just gives me some volume and some lift and it also helps um, with a little bit of oil control, which is really, really great. So I feel like it was a dual purpose and it really, I've had some really good hair days using this product. So I did pick up a full size. This stuff is pricey, oof. But you do get eight and a half ounces. I mean, it is a pretty bottle, it's a big bottle. Um, it'll last me a while because the, um, the smaller size one lasted me, but um, yeah, this is like $40 which I do not recommend spending that kind of money on a hair product, but I needed something to help my hair out. So um, for me, it was an investment that was worth it. Um, another investment for me that was so pricey, but I did it anyway, um, is from Guerlain Paris, and this is the Laure Radiance Concentrate with Pure Gold Base Makeup. So I don't own a lot from Guerlain. Um, it's, a, it's a brand that I am trying more and more products out from. And I saw this primer and I tested it and I was like, oh my gosh, what a great primer. And it has gold flakes in it, which, you know, some people are like, well, that's just gimmicky. But as it turns out, there are some skincare benefits along with gold. And so I picked this up. I'm going to put it to the test, try it out. I will do a whole separate review on this because this is one pricey product. I mean, ridiculously pricey. Is it really worth it? Don't know. So I'm going to put it to the test. I'm going to do a whole nother review on this, but, um... As it turns out, gold really does have skincare benefits. Who knew? Um, another thing that I picked up is from MAC. This is the Matchmaster Shade Intelligence Compact. Um, this is in 1.5, very fair. Um, I picked this up because I felt like um, it's very similar to the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. And for summer, I just wanted to see, you know, how does this compare? How does it stand up? I haven't even opened it yet. Um, I want to know, you know, is this a light formula that will look good all day long during the summer? Will it wear off? You know, that kind of thing. So I did pick this up. I love um, the cushion thing. I don't even know what to call it. The craze, cushion craze. Um, I just like it. So I like the L'Oreal True Match Lumi, so I figured why not try this out? So the next product that I picked up is from Lancome, and it keeps with the whole cushion theme. Um, they came out with Cushion Blush Subtles, I think is what they're called. Subtle. And this is the Blush in Splash Coral. Ooh, come back here. And it's just this really pretty, like, vibrant pink. Look at how beautiful that is. I think that's going to look so gorgeous this summer. So I picked this up because they have come out. I mean, it's, it's identical to a compact for foundation, but it's blush. And I thought that was a really interesting concept. Um, I'm curious to see how it applies, how it wears. So... Be on the lookout for that. I'm actually really excited about that. Also from Lancome, I picked up some of the sh oops, some of the shakers. I picked up some of the juicy sh juicy shakers. Um, they are an oil oil tint, very similar to the um, YSL tint and oils, except you know this comes in so many different shades. The color range is ridiculous. And I'm kind of curious to see how they compare. They're obviously more, um, they're less expensive than the um, YSL, but we'll see. I picked up um, Bohemian Raspberry, which is this really pretty bright color. I picked up Vanilla Pop, and then I picked up Berry Pop. So, no, I'm sorry, Berry in Love. Vanilla Pop, Berry in Love. And I am gonna be doing a whole separate review on this. I'm curious to see how they stack up, how they compare. Um, yeah, 
So it's just an interesting, it's an interesting thought and the applicator is very interesting to me. So, ooh, I can't keep things in my hands today. I keep dropping everything. All right, moving on. I'm gonna talk about a couple of things that I picked up from Clinique. Um, they came out with um, Clinique Lid Pops. So it's the same concept as the Cheek Pops. It's the same design, obviously a smaller version of it, but they are eyeshadows, and I'm curious to see how they how they compare, you know? What's the formula like? This is so pretty. This is called Willow Pop, and it's very much like that antique, almost khaki kind of color. Thought it was really pretty, and then I also picked up Cream Pop, and this is more of a champagne, but I love the feel. They're super creamy in texture. Um, I don't know how they wear on the lid or anything like that. Oh, look how pretty that is. I don't know if you can wear them wet or dry. I haven't tried them out yet, but I will put them to the test and let you guys know. But the packaging, just like the, the Cheek Pop blushes, super cute. I also picked up some of their, what are these called specifically? These are called the Clinique Pop Lip Rouge, I'm sorry, Lip Color Plus Primer Rouge Intense Base. So I picked up three colors, and when I first saw them, I was like, ooh, cute, a, a liquid lipstick or a really cute lip gloss. Nah, package is deceiving. It's a lipstick. I was really hoping for something a little cuter. Um, but this is number 10, Punch Pop. Looks matte. This is number eight, Cherry Pop. Also looks matte. Really pretty fun red. And then this is number one, Nude Pop. And this looks like it actually has um, a little bit of finely milled um, shimmer or glitter in it. But I picked up kind of an, an array of colors to see, you know, how they wear, how they swatch, things like that. I haven't even tried them out yet, but really pretty. So put those, I actually don't own a lot from Clinique. Really, the Clinique blushes are all that I really own from them. So put that to the test and see how that works out. From Natasha Denona, I did pick up one of her blush duos. I picked up um, palette number 16, and this is... The, the two colors in this are Tutu and Matte Nude. So Tutu, Matte Nude. These are really, really pretty. Super buttery and creamy. I absolutely think they're stunning. You know, they're very powdery, so I would definitely knock off the excess when applying them. But the concept behind this is that you put the darker shade on the back part of your cheeks and the lighter shade on the apple of your cheeks to really make your cheeks glow and stand out. So. I'm excited to try that out. Ooh. Sorry, my nose itched. Um, I did pick up a couple of the this um, the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips. Um, I haven't tried these yet. I don't know anything about the formula. I know that they're all over YouTube and people love them. I'm really curious to see. I found their matte lipsticks to be too drying for me. Um, I have really super dry lips, so I felt that they were a little too drying, but I picked up the shades um, Frickin' Frack, which is very like that mauve Caitlyn Jenner kind of color. I picked up Cozy, which is a beautiful orange colored coral, orange toned coral, and Sprit, which is a very neutral pink. So I will try these out, let you guys know. Um, if you're like me and you have super dry lips, maybe you know the original matte formula isn't for you. So I'm gonna try the satin formula and see how it works out. I did pick up a dose of color liquid lipstick. I picked up the, the shade Bury Me Too. I think it's really, really pretty. Once again, this is another matte lipstick or I'm sorry, a matte liquid lipstick that I have not tried the formula of. Along that line, there's a lot of liquid lipsticks happening here. I picked up one of the, the Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. This is in Doll Parts. It is what I have on my lips today. I felt like when I saw it on him that they were, it was like a little more um, brown tone, like there's a little more nude to it as opposed to pink. But on me, it comes off like almost like a Barbie pink, which it's still really, really pretty. Um, I did order a couple more of the colors. They haven't come in yet. So yeah, really excited to get the rest of those. I picked up one of the Lorac Alter Ego lipsticks, one of the new formulas. I picked up um, Duchess, and this is such a beautiful shade of lipstick. Ugh, and it smells like vanilla. It's awesome. Um, it's a very neutral pink definitely right up my alley. It's so pretty. The packaging leaves a little to uh, be desired, but hopefully the formula is rocking. Uh, reminds me a lot of MAC Cream Cup, so we'll see how it compares. Um, I did pick up something from Lee Swatier. My husband makes fun of me. Or actually, I picked up two things for her from that line. I have l lip wrinkles. My husband makes fun of me. He calls me lip wrinkle. It's not very funny. But I picked up a, um, a line filler. It, this is the Lee Swatier Line Filler Lips and Contour. Um, 
It is supposed to visibly plump, soften lips, smooth, and give a contoured look. I don't know if it's gonna do all that. I really hope that it does. I can't get into it. I have this like on lockdown. So it is a lip treatment that you use and it is like hardcore. Look at that, boom. So I'm curious to see, you know, if it actually works. We'll find out. Also from Lee Swatier, I picked up the um, Tint Parafat 12 Hour Glam Complexion, wait, Flawless Complexion um, Foundation. It's a two in one. So this is in neutral, neutre, and it has a concealer and then it has the foundation. So this is supposed to, um, it's supposed to be moisturizing, long lasting, high coverage, and natural finish. So I've actually never tried any um, foundation. I've, I've never tried any products from Lisa Watier, period. So these will be the first two. I did pick up my favorite lash adhesive. This is Callus Eyelash Adhesive in Clear. This is the only eyelash adhesive that I found that doesn't irritate my eyes. So yay. All right, so I did pick up um, one last thing that is not, or I'm sorry, I have two things left from, not from the drugstore. Um, I picked up a pair of Scott Lauren flashes. These are my first ones, I'm totally excited. This is in Jackie O, and I think it's just such a beautiful look. I can't wait to see what it looks like on the eyes. My eyes are very sensitive, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping it works out. And then from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I did pick up one of her metallic luster liners. This is in liquid gold. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Um, and I have hazel eyes, so I'm really hoping that this brings out the gold in my eyes and rocks. We'll find out. It's very creamy and buttery, though. All right, from the drugstore, I picked up a couple of um, things, a couple of new things. I just kind of perused past them today. Um, from the Sinful Colors nail line, these are the Kylie um, nail polishes. I picked up the shade. Um, Magic Touch, which is what I have on right now, which I can already tell you I do not like because I've had it on for one day and it's already chipped. Not happy. And then this is um, Cool as a Cucumber. So these are the two colors that I picked up. I thought they were very fun for summer. Um, I feel like this one is a dupe for my Essie um, Virgin Snow. We'll find out. We'll see. Very pretty, but I can tell you right now, on me, the this nail polish chips so so quickly, which sucks. I picked up one of the new um, Katy Perry CoverGirl collab lipsticks. This is uh, Maroon Meow, and it's just a really pretty maroon lipstick. I haven't even opened it yet. Ooh, here we go. And it's, let's see, it's a berry color. We'll see. I haven't tried it. I picked up a Wet n Wild. Um, this is the metallic liquid lipstick in coming up roses so really fun and last but not least <laughs> last but not least Revlon has the new color stay um, liquid eye pen eye pen but this is eye ballpoint pen so it actually looks like a ballpoint pen interesting all right so we'll see how those work out um, I, I will be doing some separate reviews on some of these products but let's be honest let's get to the part where you get to meet the newest member of my family I know the lights are so bright this is Logan, and he is my newest baby, the newest member of my family. He is a soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. He's nine weeks old. Oh, look at that little baby. And he got groomed today for the first time, so he's sleepy. But he is so precious, and I love him so much. Missy Lou, my dachshund, does not love him so much, but I do. Oh, he's just the sweetest little love ball. The best part, I don't know if I can get it on camera, his little paws look like teddy bears, like little teddy bear paws. Yeah. He's just a little love ball, but I wanted to introduce you to Logan. He is my newest baby. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and we will see you next time. Bye.